new COVID-19 vaccines today. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration gave a green light to updated boosters aimed at the most dominant variants. But a top U.S. health official is also responding to criticism that the U.S. government is moving too quickly on these boosters. Mandy Gaither has more in today's Health Minute. In the U.S., BA5 continues to be the dominant variant, last week causing nearly 9 out of 10 new COVID infections, according to CDC estimates. I really would love to be ahead of this variant this, this season. That's what the updated COVID-19 boosters are aimed at doing. It's a bivalent vaccine, which means it contains mRNA encoding from the original coronavirus spike protein, together with mRNA encoding from the spike protein of the Omicron BA4 and BA5 variants. As we have updated these booster uh, shots for the fall, the data that um, we are looking at is related to very, very small changes in the mRNA sequence um, and really shouldn't impact safety at all. Both Moderna and Pfizer have now been given initial emergency use authorization from the FDA for their updated boosters, but there is some criticism that the U.S. government is moving too quickly and without enough human data. There's always a question here of being too slow versus too too fast. Um, and I think one of the challenges is if we wait for those data to emerge in human data, not just mice data and human data, um, we will be using what I would consider to be a potentially outdated vaccine. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky says the strategy now is to tailor vaccines that would have the greatest effect, ideally one that would have less waning over time by targeting the variants that are dominant now. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.